I started the center in 2005. Initially, we started uh, as a girls' project, but uh, disability and need and poverty is not a respect of gender. So we brought in the boy child uh, from 2010. And uh, ever since we've embraced any, any person, any child who is in need. I started volunteering at Zabibu actually about two years ago when I just uh, entered in Safaricom. And basically when I first came here and met with Irene, met with the kids here and saw what was that project, I just basically fell in, uh, in passion with, that, with uh, what is happening here. I started bringing some of, some of my colleagues from technology around and they also liked the place, they loved uh, the initiative, they loved Zabibu as a project and uh, we said that we want to do more. So what we did in March uh, 2013 is I brought all my leadership team here for one of our weekly meetings and we spent the day here and basically start thinking how can we engage. So that was the, the, the start of us as technology adopting Zabibu as a CSR. Tibo and his team uh, from Safaricom really, really um, gave us a boost in, uh, in terms of a dormitory because when we started the high school, uh, in order for the students to continue with the education to the highest level they can attain, we didn't have a proper uh, structure in place and especially the dormitory, we had um, temporary shelter. The girls before in that place, they were living in iron sheets type of building, temporary, but which had been temporary for many years. And because of lack of funds, then there was no possibility to build that dome. So we had a quick chat as a team and we say, OK, we can do it. Now we have a whole uh, high school and we will be able to give as many girls as possible from 120 and above an opportunity to continue with the education. Girls who would otherwise not have been able to enroll in a school. Children who did their KCP but they didn't do so well and they cannot get the bursary. But, uh, they are in need of that education because we believe education is a right for every child. Well, it started by uh, small things like, for example, putting fines when people come late into meetings. We also uh, start engaging the whole staff and I'm really, really happy and proud to say that in excess of 100 staff from technology contributed 1% of their salary to the initiative. We also reach out to our uh, partners. Lots of them have come to see the project and have been happy to see what we're doing, what is our plan and have contributed. The team came with a lot of fundraising initiatives. So we had a concert. Um, we had selling of uh, materials like wristbands. Um, we came also with a football tournament that happened here to engage with the kids. We did the dinner and uh, they, had, they made myself cooking for people. We had the pleasure to have Irene and James Wagema as our hosts as well at that dinner. And uh, it was really nice experience for me I, and, and for them a nice cooking experience as well in, uh, in having a nice cuisine at home. So it was, it was one of the nice, very nice events, yes. I have learned a great deal from Safaricom, I've learned a great deal from the benefactors because they gave and they continue to give. And when they give, then we know that the children will continue to receive and it is for the betterment of the children, it is for a transformation, it is for an improved, uh, escalated improvement in their lives. One of the lessons is uh, that together we can do a lot, okay? So when, uh, when I was able to, to bring the team here, and everybody came to the, to, the, to the party in helping, then there's no limit with what we can do.